through, um, how uh, Lieutenant Boomer came into my life. I was doing a play um, called uh, Screamers, a uh, play that went on to win the uh, Pulitzer Prize and uh, Best uh, American Play of the Year at a, at a theater called The Long, not The Long Orb, that's where we did it in the table, at the Westwood Playhouse. And my agent gave me a call and said, Herb, they're interested in having you uh, go into me uh, for a new show uh, called Battlestar Galactica. I said, really? Um, what's the character? And he said, well, it's a fighter pilot. <laughs> and I, the guy who and Dirk and I um, talked about this for years, I'm a guy who's had a love for aviation and aerospace since I'm about eight years old. <laughs> so I jumped at the chance. Now, as it turns out, they were already shooting Battlestar Galactica. I went in for the audition. There were about 15, uh, uh, they needed to cast it fast. There were about 15 actors being considered very qualified uh, actors, any one of whom uh, could have done just a, a fine job on the role. But out of that 15, they broke it down to seven, and out of that seven, I got the nod. Um, Immediately after the executives at uh, ABC Casting made the decision, they had a limo waiting for me to bring me to the set because they were ready to shoot a scene. <laughs> <laughs> Went out to Universal, they put me into the pants and uh, my boots and my laser, but they didn't have the tunic. Taylor, Taylor needed to to uh, to put together uh, the blouse. So the very first scene that I shot in Battlestar Galactica was a scene with Dirk before the invasion, um, and I'm bare-chested. And I thought, bloody hell, i got to do a scene after scene with this guy with this magnificent torso. <laughs> <laughs> would be a child or anything. <laughs> I can take my eyes off his, his muscles. <laughs> guys are in a, in a ready room, uh, they're in a barrack situation, it's just a bunch of guys, why wouldn't they be bare chested? So they said, sure, you know, so I went and did the scene, and everyone thought that uh, this guy is supposed to be, this is supposed to be a beefcake shot. Well, as it turns out, you know, it, it worked just fine. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, getting back to uh, question as to whether, how much of Boomer is there in Herbert Jefferson Jr. I, not much, maybe a little. My love for aviation, I grew up in a military family, uh, and uh, the character really didn't have anything but support things to do in our one year. Uh, so he wasn't developed as much as, uh, as as uh, Starbucks or Apollo, but we did have a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. Um, is Cat anything like Luciana Carl? That's a dope question. Um, because, yeah, there is part of me that's a lot like Cat, but then there's part of me that's totally not like Cat at all. So, I don't know. I mean, put in the situation that Cat was put in, I think a lot of the things that Kat did, I think I would have probably reacted the same way. Um, you know, when it came to giving Starbuck, uh, you know, a hard time about the way she was behaving and the things she was doing, I think, I think that's justified. <laughs> <laughs> I think she was fracking up, you know. <laughs> she, was, she was, you know, she was drinking, she was sending people out, and people were getting killed when she should have been out there fighting. And, you know, she was, you know, cracking bamber instead. <laughs> and um, I don't know. I, I, I think that I, I think that I would have. Um, I think if I was Kat, I would have reacted the same way. But then there's like other parts of me that I think I'm a, a lot more feminine than Kat was. I think I'm a little more tough. And I'm not. I'm, I'm kind of a wuss. <laughs> I don't like pain, and I cry at everything. 
So I, I don't know, there's parts of me that are like cat and there's parts of me that aren't like cat. I think like every role that I play, there's part of me and everything that I play. Thank <laughs> you. 